Hey friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix your laptop plugin not charging battery on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Now, I am currently using a Windows 11 PC but I'm recording this straight out of my virtual machine that is currently running a Windows 10 operating system. But I'm going to show you the steps so that you can learn how to do it here, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how it is done here within this Windows 10. So all you have to do guys is just simply go ahead and click the Windows key on your keyboard here and simply type in run. Now once that comes up guys, you simply want to open up the run and here you want to ensure that you type the following. So you have this msdt.exe space dash id space poor diagnostic, right? So go ahead and hit enter or click on OK to run this. And once you receive the pop-up, you will see that it's going to troubleshoot and help to prevent computer problems. Here it says power and you can simply click on next. That's what it's going to try to fix. So once you go ahead and click on next, it's going to try to detect any issues there that you can find, right? So if you check it and there's no, no problem here, then that's good. Go ahead and close this. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and click the Windows key, the keyboard or taskbar again and simple type in device manager. Go ahead and open up the device manager panel here, right? You can also find it directly within the control panel here. But yeah, the simple type in device manager do the trick and you can easily open it. Expand the batteries and you want to look for your adapter, your AC adapter. You want to right click and do update. Try to update first to do it automatically and see if you update to the latest driver and see if that it fixed the issue. If this does not work, you want to go ahead and do an update again. Try to do update, but this time try to browse my PC, right? So browse your computer for the drivers. Let, choose the option that says, let me pick from a list. See if you find any other options there that you can click on and try to do the steps again, right? So you will do that. Try to update this. If this does not work, what you want to do, right click on the adapter again, the battery adapter, and simply uninstall it from the device. Click uninstall and you'll see that it's removed from here. Now, all you have to do, you can go ahead and you can try to click here on action and scan for hardware changes. It will do a refresh and it should try to get it back for you. If not, just simply go ahead and restart your computer. Simply go ahead and close this out. Go to your power button here by simply right clicking on the Windows key in your taskbar. By simply clicking on it, you'll find the power button on the left hand side. You can click power and you can simply go ahead and once you click on power, you can restart. Another way is by simply just right click on the Windows icon, go down to power and sign out and restart your computer from here. Once you do that, that should fix the issue for you. No, if after you restart your PC, you're still facing an issue. I want to recommend that you look for your computer model and you can easily go ahead and find your computer model. So you can simply click the Windows key again on your keyboard and type in system and you'll find system information. You can click on that. That's going to give you all the info about your computer. And here you will find your computer model. As I mentioned before, I'm currently running a virtual box, right? So this is basically showing my virtual box. Now on my Windows 11, if I try to click, for example, a system information here, let me see if I can pull this over. I'll be able to see that on my computer here in my Windows 11 PC. Now, this is basically showing me that my computer model is a ASUS and it shows the tough dash, yada, 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 right? So this is what I would look for on Google. I will search for this online and try to look for the drivers, try to look for the battery drivers or, the, or whatever drivers I can find relate to my PC that I can get to install those battery. But as I said before, as this is a virtual machine, it is currently showing that my system model, my system model is a virtual box, right? Which is fine. But just so you know, that's how you manage to go ahead and do like a last resort, try to find it online and see if you can install, right? You can try to look for Intel drivers as well. You will definitely find Intel drivers associated with your computer. So as you can see that your processor as well is running Intel, you can try to look up Intel drivers for your computer in general. You'll find quite a lot of drivers here that you can install. So try this option, guys. Try to see if any one of them help you to fix your problem. I really hope so that it does. And if it does, good luck, happy to help. If not, let me know in the comments below so that I can try to find another solution where I can share with you that can help you to fix your problem. And yeah, with that said, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to become part of this growing community. Of course, you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for your time. Hope you had a great new year and see you in the next video. Thank you guys. See you next time.